What's good, good LK fam? fam? It's your boy Ken. And it's your girl Lady G. And today, man, we back with another freaking video, man. Y'all seen that title? Y'all seen that thumbnail? Y'all know what's going on. Let's get it. So today, we really wanted to touch base, really, on my postpartum experience. He wanted to speak, you know, like how it was for him dealing with me or whatever the case could be. Right. So let's start off with um, really how it's been like this past month. I feel like this past month, um, I feel like in the beginning when she first came home, everything was just very fresh. This is my first baby. You know, I don't have like much help out here. We didn't have help out here. Like no one's here to show us like, will show me like what to do. So I feel like I was very, flu not flustered a lot, but like it was just, you know, I didn't know what to do. I wasn't like sleeping correctly. And like, I was just like changing her it was like taking her back and stuff. I was just like very nervous doing everything at first. I feel like now I definitely have, you know, I think I, I can, yeah. I can bath her alone now and yeah. stuff and I can put on clothes on her, you know, alone. So I feel like I'm definitely getting the hang of everything. But in the beginning it was very like, ah. It was very, very, yeah, it was very like, yeah. It was it was, yeah. I remember that one time that we were in, in her room and we were both putting clothes on her and it was just, it was just funny. Yeah, it was. It was we like, were just both and our hands were just like, it was. yeah. We were one hand and then, okay, I'm gonna do this and then, okay, yeah. I'm gonna do this. Wait, 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 <laughs> like, wait. we're just being extra difficult. Hold ahead, hold ahead, this is how we gonna do this. Yeah, put a shirt on, put a shirt mm -hmm. on. Oh, it was just like extra difficult. We were being extra difficult, yeah. Extra, yeah, anyways. So I feel like I personally have been getting the hang of things. I think I'm just like sleeping all, I'm sleeping pretty good to be honest. She sleeps pretty well. Yeah. Like at night, I feel like at night she has like a real, like she'll sleep like a long time, wake up, we feed her one time in the night. I feel like then she'll go back to sleep till like eight or nine. Yeah, come I don't see now. Come on. I think she probably got like, I think I got, let me go change her cause you got to go okay. I did, she got to go change so I feel like, you know, within this past month, I have definitely um, learned a lot of stuff. I've been learning my baby and I've been learning how to do stuff as a parent, what not to do. I feel like there's no rule book to being a parent. Like there's nobody here showing me the ropes. I'm kind of just figuring everything out. You know, King is already a parent, so he knows a lot of stuff. There's some stuff that, you know, he was kind of like, ah, but we've figured it out together. I feel like, um, and that even goes into like and as far as ocean she's like she's like getting chunkier and how many pounds did the doctor say she was like 11 yeah yeah like when she was born she was eight pounds she's 11 pounds now she's starting like to lift up her neck more she drinks five ounces like she's getting super chunky it's really cute but i feel like everything has just been very good i'm really excited to like see more milestones of her you know when she first like can like fully like hold her neck up or like sit up and start crawling like i'm really excited to see all those milestones for her um and to talk more about my postpartum experience so my first week coming back from the hospital was very tough i woman if you don't know when you give birth and you like push out your placenta all your hormones drop like you have no hormones in your body so your body goes into like this hormone shock thing so when i came back to the house i was like having anxiety i was but i didn't know i was having like anxiety and stuff um actually i have a funny story i'm gonna wait till king comes back so i can talk about it <clears throat> so the first week when i came back from the hospital there was this one first of all the first day that i left the hospital remember in the car when i was like um i was like remember when we stopped at cbs before we came we came to the house and i was just like i feel like i couldn't breathe and stuff and like my chest is getting heavy like right there that was anxiety like i felt anxiety as soon as i left the hospital and i think it was just like all the emotions and like my hormones and stuff and then like oh my god like as a mom as a new mom you're like oh my god like now i'm taking my baby home like it was just, yeah like now it's just me there's no nurses helping me no doctors you know so i had like anxiety but i had never experienced anxiety before so i did not know it was anxiety 
So probably like the first two nights I cried. <laughs> I cried at night. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this because I was tired. I was so tired because I hadn't slept like the whole time I was in labor. Like I probably had like approximately, I swear, like eight hours of sleep within like three days that I was in labor. And so yeah, so I was crying and stuff the first couple nights, and then there was this one night. There was this one night in that first week that I started feeling my chest getting really tight. Like I couldn't breathe. I felt like, you know, I, I don't, I just didn't know what I was feeling. It's not funny. It's, it's not, not funny, funny at all. It is, <laughs> it's, I, it's not funny, but it's just like, I didn't know. Why are you laughing then? <laughs> 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 okay, cause no, why do you have to clarify it's not, it's not it's funny? Not funny. It's not funny being what it's like. It's like now we look at it now because how you was, he was like, ooh, chill, ooh, chill. No, but like I, I thought like there was something wrong with my body. Like yeah. I really thought there was something wrong with my body. Like plus like what was going down, like in, I was in pain down there. So I'm thinking maybe it's like, yeah. So I'm like crying and stuff, y'all. Like I cried so many times during that first week for like absolutely no, remember when we were sitting on the couch and I was just like, yeah. I like, I love you guys so much. <laughs> like, I just was crying that first week for no reason. I was really emotional. I would be looking at ocean and I would start crying. But anyway, so I'm really bad at telling stories. <laughs> but this, that night that I started feeling my chest getting heavy again, y'all, I was crying. I was like, I have to go to the hospital. Like there's something wrong with me. Like I just need to go. And you know, Papa is just like, you know, he's with it. Like, yeah, like he's like, you know, he's thinking there's something probably wrong with me too. Like, yeah. we're just like. I'm always on the stage like shit. I mean, that's what you feel. Let's go. Cause I don't know how you feel. So I'm like, if you feel like that, like, I'm, you know, I'm, whatever, let's go. But what was you thinking? Like, I was just like sitting there crying before I <laughs> left to the. Mm -hmm. I just thought, like, I was just seeing myself. I was just like. I don't know, like, every, I just thought all your emotions just kicked in on me. Because they say that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know, yeah. like, they're going to look out for that, but I'm like, oh, it's not everything going to be hitting me at once. So you like, your um, emotions and stuff. Like, it like, was dog. crazy. So I'm just like, you know, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you start to feel like, you know, you're crying and stuff. Especially out of nowhere. Like, yeah. But I thought, like, I didn't know, I didn't really pay attention to the crying part. I was paying attention to the part where I couldn't breathe. Yeah. Like, I was like trying That's to like, I was it. like in and out trying to like exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, whatever. Like I was just really trying to focus on my breathing because I felt like I could not breathe at all. Right. And my job never had anxiety before this. So like I didn't know what the feelings were. So we get to the hospital, we drive all the way to the hospital, y'all. Like a 40 minute, 35 minute ride. Yeah. By the time we get to the hospital, I'm like, I look at King and I'm like, oh, like I can feel better. <laughs> Yeah. He, put, he put calming music in the car and stuff and by the time we got to the hospital like I felt kind of like better like it wasn't like tight I remember, anymore. Yeah, I was driving when I, when I started to drive I started to drive like um yeah I started putting like calm music on like like um what you call it um lo-fi music like lo-fi yeah. music because I listened to that I'll like put, uh, put that on and then we was just driving by the time we got there like yeah yo anxiety that's probably what it was like, that's yeah what it, was. it was that yeah, anxiety um went down mm -hmm. so like you listen to them you just calm and relax and you see everything moves so by the time you got there like, i kind of figured it but it still was bad. best to be safe and sorry yeah because i didn't and plus i was in a lot of pain and i just didn't know if it was like because of that or something so i ended up still going into the emergency room the doctor she seen me and stuff and she was like yeah like you're having the postpartum blues now y'all if y'all don't know postpartum blues last for two weeks after you give birth and she was like it's completely normal a lot of new moms feel anxiety um like even though they've never had anxiety before they feel it within those two weeks but after your two weeks it should be fine she actually actually prescribed me medication um to help me but i actually never took it because it wasn't like an addictive one but i just never took it because i was like i want to just let my body go through what it has to go through and if it you know like I felt like it would get better on its own, which it has. I am fine. I am no longer emotional. Um, I have not felt that feeling since, honestly, since the first week. Like after the first week, I was fine. After the first week, I was fine. 
I feel like my probably say two weeks, but it, it's up to your body. Yeah. Your person, so you know, mm -hmm. a lot of women they experience postpartum. Um, like you know, they experience postpartum longer. They can go into postpartum depression and stuff like that. And I was really nervous to go into that. You know, I mean, I'm still in my postpartum experience. Like mm -hmm. they say, like postpartum doesn't end until like six months, really, after giving birth. But I feel like I'm really good. I'm in a good like. I'm just like in a healthy, I'm in a healthy relationship. I have like healthy stuff around me. So I feel like I, I'm yeah. thankful I haven't experienced any more of that. Yeah. But if you are experiencing that, or if you are about to give birth and you're like, oh my God, like I'm gonna experience that. I think it's really like, I feel like if Papa wasn't so supportive and like the times that I was crying, he was just like comforting me and like, he would help me and stuff. I feel like it's really good to make sure that you have somebody like. So my men out there, if you watching, I'm facts. telling you, if you with your girl right now, listen, you gotta be there. You gotta really real life be there because it's like us men, we do not understand and we don't know what they feel, okay? So you have to, you have to be that strong around the house on everything. You got to, I'm telling you, you got to. I feel like um, it's really important to have somebody that's there that's just going to comfort you even without them having to completely understand like what you're going through mentally or physically like I was in a lot of pain my first two weeks of postpartum um, because I had you know I had given birth so I was yeah. in pain down there it was hard for me to move I was taking a lot of ibuprofen and I can say Papa was helping me a lot, you know? And I feel like it's just very important to have somebody very, very good on your side, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's very, very important. But if you don't have somebody like that, I think you just need to keep a strong headspace yeah. and just know that it's not going to last forever. And just look at your baby, honestly. I feel like that's awesome. When I would start feeling sad or anything, I would just look at Ocean and then it will be happy tears, you know? Yeah. Exactly the same way, you know what I'm saying? It's like every day you have to be, you know, it's just real life. It just becomes real life. Once you have a kid, it's like you know more that kid no more. You're just more so uh, adult at any, you know, because you got to like, you got to learn how to, your body is going to switch and switch to this mode where it's automatic you will become into a parent mode. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't know why, you don't know how, you don't know why you're doing it like this, or it's just a natural instinct that's going to click on to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, I feel like with anybody, even you know, people probably like older, they have a, they have a kid. Like, but that know. doesn't mean that you're not gonna make mistakes. That yeah. doesn't mean that you're gonna know everything. But it just you're just your kid becomes your first priority. I feel like so. Mandatory. Yeah, like once you, I don't know. I feel like as a mother, your motherhood instincts kind of kick in. But it don't mean that you know everything. You're gonna do everything perfect because perfect just doesn't exist when you have a child i feel like yeah. honestly like you're perfect gonna be going, perfect going to exist in general <laughs> in general but especially being parents like there's like you always say like there's no rule book to being a parent you make mistakes you learn from them and you continue it's like we're growing with her you know i feel like i'm growing with her as a mother and mm. we're growing together as parents together and stuff mm -hmm. like that yeah, definitely. I feel like that's really it. Um, I really just wanted to speak a little bit about my postpartum experience and how it's been this past month for us. I'm really excited for her to get a little bit bigger so we can start going out more and it just like going out, getting her into the real world. Not too much, but like, you know, like being able to do stuff on you, baby. Just like, no lights, please. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. lights. It's cool. If I put you down, you're going to start crying. If I put you down, you're going to start crying. So. Some postpartum must-haves. Because I, I know women have been asking, get all the Freedom Mom products. Make sure you have ibuprofen on deck. I'm telling you, once you give birth, ibuprofen will be your Come best on. friend. Papa, I feel like I was, this is not a joke. I felt like I was like popping pills. Like, 
I was popping ibuprofen, <laughs> like it was just like crazy. Papa, was I not? Like, and he'll be like, "Did you take your medicine? Did you take your any single time?" I would complain about a, a pain, but like for real, for real, your ibuprofen helps because if you do forget to take it and it wears off, yeah, you're gonna be in I'm pain. I'm laughing like now that you say that. I think that bottle was. I have a big <laughs> bottle of ibuprofen. I'm telling you, that bottle is like halfway gone. Like this I took so many ibuprofen. Yeah, like I was taking so many ibuprofen. Like I mean, you can only take like three a day. Plus, I would take Tylenol too because you could take up to like uh, you could take Tylenol as well if it's not. Yeah, so I was just going crazy. I'm not gonna lie, but ibuprofen will be your best friend after you give birth. And I would suggest honestly, like all the free to mom products, they worked for me. But I feel like the only thing that was most effective was the ice pack like the ice pack pad but also like it was just honestly that it wasn't it it just like even though i had those products you're still gonna be in pain mm -hmm. you will still please be, be in pain please be on time because i was telling her like make sure you take you like a, you take you away to like it wear off and, and then, then be in pain but yeah. that mother kick back in again i'll be like you gotta take the ball like probably like ah, like i feel like bro like every like i think it's like every Six Six be on time, be on time, be on time with the mother. <laughs> that pain is like no joke. And I didn't even have like, I didn't even tear down there where I had to get like mm -hmm. stitches, but I did like, yeah, I had a cut. And it was very, very painful. Mm -hmm. Very painful. Yeah. But I am wonderful now. Everything is healed. Actually, I don't know when this will be posted, but on Monday, in two days, I make six weeks so I can start working out again, which I'm really, really happy about. Ever since we left the hospital, we kind of been on this healthier eating lifestyle. Yeah, I've been eating healthier. We have been eating <coughs> healthier. Um, <clears throat> you know, me personally, I did gain a lot of weight. Like, not a lot, but like, I did gain a lot of weight during my pregnancy. Which is fine, it's normal, people gain weight. My body is like prone to gaining and losing weight quick. Like, I know if I eat, like if I eat what, would you, why do you make that face? Cause I was saying like you gain weight, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I gain weight, but personally I like working out. So I know I'm gonna lose it where I wanna lose it. I definitely wanna keep some of the weight that I have. Cause the baby girl done blessed me back there. And you know, probably bless me back there too. That's a but I can't wait to start working out again. <laughs> and Papa be working out too. So we'll be working out together. Definitely doing some workout videos for y'all. So make sure you stay tuned for those. I want to incorporate, yeah, we should most definitely incorporate that. I feel like, um, like me working out and um, us working out together. You know what I'm saying? You working out a long time too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just showing, you know what I'm saying? Motivate you too. So, you know what I'm saying? Even if you want to encourage yourself to just work out or you want to work out too, like, that'll be something, you know, us to start the ball for you to work out too. Facts. That'd be lit. I just want to touch base on this real quick. It is okay if you do not snap back after pregnancy right away. Like, not everybody snaps back. And that's just realistic. Like, you just carried a baby in you for not... That's why, like, I honestly wasn't putting pressure on myself. Like, yeah, I might not be where I used to be, but it's fine. Like, I just, you know, I just created a baby in my stomach for nine months. And realistically, not everybody snaps back. Like, it's just what it is. So, don't pressure yourself to to be on point again like you know you're getting the hang of this mommy thing plus your body is trying to get back to how it used to be nine months ago and you're only uh, yeah i'm only one month post well about to be six weeks postpartum but i could finally start working out now but i wasn't really pressuring myself and i wasn't really like being hard on myself that i'm not like where i used to be because it was obvious i wasn't gonna be where i used to be you know yeah. so I feel like that's really important. I feel like society just be putting a lot of pressure on women to snap back after they give birth when in reality, it's okay if you don't snap back right away. Just feel comfortable in your skin. You just created life. I just created life. So that's it. I feel like that's really it for this video. I hope that I gave some good insights on my postpartum experience for the ladies out there that are pregnant or that are about to give birth or for anyone that just wanted to know what I've been going through. And yeah, that's really it. 
Okay, y'all, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give a thumbs up to this video. Comment down below. Yes. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Welcome to the LK family. We hope you enjoyed this video. We love y'all so very, very, yes, very man, much. Listen, bro. Listen. If you're new to the channel, like she just said, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Press the notification bell. <laughs> I don't think they heard you. Do that. <laughs> like very aggressive. <laughs> All right. All right, Bye man. Let's get it.